While the U.S. government used a gag order to keep an encryption company silent, you may have missed Tat to Recreate Pompeii, How to Save Your Noggin, and the painful awkwardness of the Department of Energy trying too hard to be cool. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where the U.S. Department of Energy made a 3D printed helm, which is definitely neat, but they then made it painful because the video is done in a crib style homage. Obviously day now, but at night we can actually let this down and have a bed to sleep in. And that slow-mo was really only meant for Shaq. My bed is 15 feet long, 30 feet wide. All right, this is gonna be weird. Stay with me. I have a beautiful friend who hates wearing bike helmets, probably because it crushes her beautiful locks. Just look at her. She's a freaking angel. So because of her, I've known that some Swedes invented an inflatable bike helmet that essentially looks like a scarf until whammo, it becomes a head airbag when the sensors can tell an impact might happen. So far, they're only sold in Europe, but Stanford just studied them, and guess what? They are far superior to regular old bike helmets. Apparently, they're four to six times more likely to reduce head acceleration. Regular bike helmets did not fare so well in this experiment. Since biking is the leading cause of activity-related brain injury in the U.S., we should all look into importing these things. Now, if only I had a friend with Euro connections. Chelsea. Researchers from a university in Sweden are recreating a house from the ancient city of Pompeii, which was covered by ash from Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. That disaster killed more than a thousand people. Archaeologists were able to scan a city block and figure out the main house's layout, flooring, gardens, and even original colors to rebuild it in 3D. And now that we're clear that even ancient people in Pompeii had nicer homes than I do. Yeah, this is the living room right here. I mean, did you these carpets come stained like this or is it something you did? All right, I feel a little better. And finally, just to make sure you all are aware, you can enter to win some freaking legit Back to the Future kicks from Nike. There's a raffle to enter to win your own Nike mags with a deadline of October 11th. It costs $10. Go ahead. They're only making 89 pairs. Do the right thing. 